Let's see what happens with the dependency case first. The event was about the Singapore branch, where the local team could not provide the exact employee names due to the other project running in parallel. The two project managers organize a meeting to discuss the point. The other project manager explains there is this Lean Six Sigma project ongoing. Processes are being analyzed and after completed, names can be provided. Our project manager asks the other if they have any idea when this will be ready. The other answers, of course, I am using a work tracker to follow the progress. There it is. We have completed about 80% and plan to be fully ready by the end of next week. This means we can provide the names on the following week. Is that okay? Yes, our project manager answers. This will not be an issue for my project as long as we get the list of names by the given date. That is good news. Our project manager updates the event in the RAID log. Then we have the case with the decision stuck on the table of the Japan CFO. They review the details. Three licenses of $500 per year makes $1,500. The alternative with dedicating internal workforce seems to be less beneficial, so the CFO confirms the preferred solution. Decision is finally made, and the project manager closes this item in the log. Hmm. This was resolved, but in France, the budget request was rejected. Why so? The project manager decides to focus on the already logged issue. The project manager organizes a meeting with Frank to understand better. Our project manager asks what the total cost is. Frank, about $10,000. Project manager is surprised. That is much more than what was paid in Japan. What is the price per license? Frank answers, it's $500. This is the same as in Japan, so why is the total cost so different? Frank says, well, our contractor has 20 employees. The cost will be 20 times $500, which equals $10,000. And so the project manager asks, but do all 20 employees need this license for the system? Frank is puzzled. I don't know, actually. I will need to talk to them in our next meeting, which is in six days. No need to mention that an action will now be logged in the raid log, right? The two agree to meet again in a week. In the next meeting, Frank has good news. It turned out only five employees will need this access. The total cost in this case is $2,500 and not $10,000. They inform the CFO. After two days, the CFO confirms the budget is approved. Action is marked as completed in the RAID log and in the tracker. Great job, project manager. Your new skills of creating RAID logs and trackers and putting them into practice are building up your project management profile. Keep up the good work.